Let's read the next stanza, children. They do not sweat and whine about their condition. They do not lie awake in the dark and weep for their sins. They do not make me sick discussing their duty to God. They has been repeated thrice here in the successive lines in the beginning, so you know which poetic device uh, has been used here. Now they here refers to the animals. They do not sweat and whine about their condition. The poet wants to be an animal because he wants to live life of an animal. Because he thinks that they live a very peaceful life, self-contained. They don't long for anything. They do not sweat and whine about their condition. In whichever condition they are living in, they never complain about it. While the humans, they keep grumbling all the time about their problems in lives. They keep whining, they keep complaining about their condition. They always desire for more. They do not lie awake in the dark and weep for their sins. Animals, they do not remain awake in the dark and weep for their sins. They do not commit sins. They are always guilt free. While human beings, they are burdened with their sense of guilt. They are so pretentious. They commit immoral actions and they then, as a result, get troubled by the burden of guilt. They keep awake all night and keep pondering over their sins. While animals, they lie, they do not lie awake in the dark. They don't feel insecure at all. They can sleep peacefully. They do not make me sick discussing their duty to God. Human beings all the time talk about their duty to God. They talk about how to become righteous, how to follow the path of God, but they seldom follow the path of God. They seldom perform their duty to God, but they always talk about duty to God. They always talk about noble virtues, but they actually don't have any and that make the poet sick sick means he gets very uncomfortable he doesn't like the phoniness of humans just the lip service of human beings the dishonesty of humans make the poet sick so he wants to be like animals who do not talk about their duty to God they don't bother about anything they don't uh, you know bother about sins or God they don't they are not pretentious at all they are not hypocrites like humans that is why he wants to be an animal not one is dissatisfied not one is demented with the mania of owning things not, not a single animal in the whole world is dissatisfied with his life, with its life. Like humans, every human being in this world is dissatisfied somewhere. Not satisfied with whatever he has got in his life. Everyone is complaining. Not, but animal in the animal world, no one is dissatisfied. They are happy in their habitats, they are happy with their families they are happy wherever they are living in living not one is demented with the mania of owning things like humans like a, like the mankind they the humans they are always you know affected demented means affected with the mania mania means madness of owning things collecting things they keep gathering things for themselves they are so materialistic they run after materialistic 
things while animals they are very satisfied with their lives they don't want anything in their lives they are not complaining or grumbling about anything they don't ponder over their sins they are not burdened with this with any sense of guilt because they are not living a life full of pretense of having a virtuous character or moral or religious beliefs or principles so because of that the poet wants to be an animal 